Uh, helping people, conflict has been like a dirty word, and so helping people understand that conflict actually leads to creativity and innovation and good results has been, uh, it's been my experience when we've worked with, we've worked with hundreds of leaders and teams, <laughs> organizations, and every time they actually start to lean into conflict and use it, they get to innovative results over and over and over again. It's amazing. So, I really believe it. I think sometimes people are scared of our book, The Beauty of Conflict, because it says conflict. And we, we put it, we did say beauty of conflict, because we didn't say the joy of conflict, the ease, the, the fun of conflict. Um, the beauty, because it's got richness and depth and, and possibility. And people and, want innovation and creativity. And really, you don't get to innovation and creativity if you don't have conflict. You don't even get engagement if you don't have conflict because people are different. And so you have to be willing to deal with those differences and that is going to naturally bring up conflict. So, I, you know, we actually fought over the word in the book title because Chris yeah. Marie was like, I don't know if people are going to, they're, they're going to be afraid of it. And I'm like, ah, maybe, but maybe, you know, I, I, I like that we could put beauty and pain and put some color on the page and that actually <laughs> we do have pain crossed out yeah. on here and the beauty and the idea well, is that it's uh, people get caught in the pain when they're avoiding conflict and they're not really dealing with it that's what gets really painful yeah. and icky and, and so. everybody knows you know there's the team you work on or the project you work on or the group you work where it's like magic and we ask people this question and they you know oh yeah and we get but when they really raise their hand fast, is, have you ever worked on a team that was as icky? You didn't talk about it, you hated it, and it, the, the all hands, hands go up, go up really fast. faster. Because everybody's been on a you know a, um, a team where it doesn't feel good. People know this isn't they, working out, and they usually haven't even been able to talk about that. So you know that's okay. why it's important. <laughs> or having the right conversation. You know what what happens when people don't communicate well with each other more and more distance gets created between them and productivity goes down and you could look at it as just a productivity issue but nine times out of ten something happened between those two people that didn't get talked about very well. We also say, you know, you know your business well. We've worked with so many different organizations from from healthcare to mining to technology to, to truckers. To what? Truckers. To truckers, yes. All sorts of different industries. So we don't really need to know the industry. What we're experts in are the human dynamics and helping you actually have the right conversations. And we're also experts in, I have an MBA, so I'm an expert in business strategy and how to actually move, move the business forward from a big picture level all the way down to what do we need to do next. So we take care of both of those things That's when the, we're working with the team. I think that is something that is unique about us working together, is we do really come from things from very different. She does have more of the business background. I probably have more of the let's deal with this conflict, let's deal with the human dynamics differently. You know, she has a very detailed process-oriented side of her that will make sure people things get done. I probably have a much, I'm um, probably more big strategic. picture, conceptual, strategic. And so, and that brings us into a lot of differences, sometimes right there in the room. And so they get to see us work through it. And then that gives them like, okay, this is a natural thing. Let's keep going. And, you know, often someone will say, can, can we just hire one of you? And we're pretty, we're pretty good about saying, no, you know, you could have cost you more. <laughs> because, because it actually, I think having both in the room. Well, we're is we're a team, and so we're modeling the behavior that we hope they yeah. will pick up on. So. And we've had time and time again, people have said, "You guys are just not like other consultants. This is so. I've been to so many of these, and this is really different." Oh, yeah. So sometimes that surprises me because I'm like, "What were you doing at the others?" But I, you know, that's not you know, I, you know. Yeah, a typical engagement is we actually do an executive offsite, a two-day offsite with the team, and then we usually develop a coaching relationship with the executives, maybe just the CEO or key members of the team. I mean, one guy today said, "I got the book and I got to use it with the one guy I had the most conflict with almost right away." So, it was, and it made a difference. And I was like, "Okay, perfect." You know, that's the thing we love. Because <laughs> I think when people aren't willing to be real, that creates a lot of stress in our lives if we have relationships where we don't feel like we can speak up and say what's really true for us. And so when people learn, hey, I can speak up and it doesn't right. have to be really scary and I can say a tough message if I need to or something that I'm worried about, people relax yeah. and they have so much more energy for everything else in their lives.